the basic political compass. It is the best way to figure out or learn about what is all this left wing and right wing and all this kind of stuff because people and more and more people are talking about politics but people do not know what they are talking about. You know, right wing, uh, socialism, all the kind of authority. So you need to learn what you, what you want to talk about first, okay? Before you talk about it, you must learn what you're talking about, okay? The basic political compass is split into four quadrants and it's on, drawn by two scales. This is called the economic scale, the horizontal one, and the vertical one is called the, the, social, uh, the social scale. Economic scale, okay, there's a left and right. On the right side, the right side, or the right wing, is just um, they are more preferred to have a smaller government, smaller government, and more private ownership. Private ownership. That means the government should not get involved in the economy as much as they should. That's what the right the ideology is. Or people on the left, they say that the government should be larger to ensure that the distribution of wealth is more evenly throughout the, uh, the people and the population. And basically, lesser private ownership. Less uh, private ownership. Okay, That is a basic definition. So if you say you're a hardcore capitalist, you're somewhere along here, along this line, I should get a better pen. Yeah, this one. The right wing, you say that you're. Oh, I'm a capitalist. You know, I'm gonna put my uh, invest in stuff and make things happen. But if you're more of a communist or socialist, it's on this side, the left side. Like so, communism will be here and socialism will be somewhere here, somewhere there. Yeah. So that is the economic scale. While on the social scale, we call it, there's called libertarian, and here we have authoritarian. Yeah. Best handwriting in the world. Okay, a libertarian it states that an individual's life is more important than the the state or the country. What authoritarian they say is that the state is more important than the individual's life, which means that the more authoritarian you go up the more the government has um, control over its people, or the more libertarian go down, the more decentralized and the more people has more, more control over themselves. So let's say countries who are more easily wage war, they want to go into war, you know, fight for the country, they belong up here. Or countries that they prefer to avoid war, it's like well, we, we love life and we cherish our people, yeah, it's sound here. And it also goes for abortion. If you are... If the government wants to control um, birth rate or whatever, there will be more, more policies centered around authoritarian policies. While if you're letting people choose for themselves, it's more libertarian choice. That is um, the main four quadrants of... So being author authoritarian is more of socialism. Uh, it's more of um, a social uh, scale. But you can also choose between the left and the right. That means economic scale. It doesn't have to stick to one. Let's look at some examples. Okay. Wow, okay, fascism is up here where the government has complete control over everything and individual does not have much noise, much of a choice. Tribalism is here where you're more individual-centered. Centralism is here, basically they adopt a bit of everything and just stay in the middle. Socialism is somewhere here where... Okay, socialism is defined as... Because it's a popular term now. Where the government... The government owns the means of production. Yep, that's what it means. It's a very fancy term, but then how what we can understand from this is that any economic activity done in the country or in the state is a uh, government involved, very heavily involved by the government, and because of that, they're able to make policies or distribute wealth more evenly in something like that. Anarcho-communism. Anarcho I'm not sure how that works. I've heard of anarcho-capitalism. Anarchy basically means no government. Anarchy means no government at all. Naturalist. Wow. Traditional democracy. It's somewhere here. Federal democracy. Federal republic. Communism and social Marxism. Mm. 
oligarchy when only a few few people owns the basically commands the whole country. Empire of the Illuminati. <laughs> wow. Okay. So move on a bit. We look at some um some people. This is a more memeable um political com- political compass. So decent people in the middle. Yeah, man. Libertarian filth. <laughs> Happy hippie filth, edgy kids and some idiots, commie scum, da da da, coin anti commie but just as bad as commie, anarchists and some subhumans, <laughs> greedy but productive. Wow, yep, proud industrialist citizens, patriot and labor rich. Utopia tomorrow, idealistic ideology. Okay, so look at some people. For example, you see Trump over here. He's more of a capitalist, and he does he like war? I'm not too sure, but yeah, it shows that he's more of a government control. Government has more say in the social life. China is here. They they're not really that communist, so they just around here actually. And oh, okay, 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 here as well. For those older people, they tend to be on more of the authoritarian side and more of the right. For the younger people, they tend to be more libertarian left. Like you know, if you take a test. You show that uh, people, those young millennial kids, are like free college, legalized weed, uh, those kind of stuff. They they probably end up around here, yeah. Gandhi is here, Stalin is here, Stain is here. Poland, Saudi, Russia is here. Oba, okay. People think that the Democrats are actually a left winger side. Yes, some of them are left wingers, but then traditional Democrats or modern Democrats. They're all actually capitalists. America is a capitalist country. Okay, America is a capitalist country. So most of the politicians actually stand on this side, where if you have government spying on you, yeah, you belong here. You belong on the more of authoritarian side. Yeah, and you have. If you're pro entrepreneurial, you belong on this side as well. Like if you're more to the left, that means that you shouldn't be too much entrepreneurial. The government should handle the economic activities. That is where Sanders comes in. Mao is here. Stalin is here. Castro, Pakistan, Mugabe. Yeah. Milton Friedman is a libertarian. Thomas Jefferson. Mandela. So yeah, that is your basics to to political compass. Political compass one on one. There you go. Have fun.